I have seen the DVD cover art for none of these, so I am ridiculously excited. So like my previous DVD on packaging and haul, I know what all of these are because I bought them online, all from CEX, but I've never seen them, so I'm kind of excited to see what the visual elements look like. So first up, we have thriller films. So I bought this because there's a Sandra Bullock in here, which is me and the mob. And we also have Blue Manhattan, Raven and Sizzle Beach USA. I have no idea what the other three are, but uh, yeah, I love Sandra Bullock, so I'm looking forward to watching me and the mob. Then we have Gaia, Gia, Gaia. Uh, this is an Angelina Jolie film. I have a habit of not being able to pronounce her films. This is one of the last few Jolies I have left to watch, which is really upsetting. But she looks absolutely stunning. I love the, the purple colour of that. And she's on the disc as well. So yeah, so I think that was about 50 pence for a pound. None of these were expensive. Okay, yay! Henry V. I was really worried about buying this one online in case they sent like the wrong version of Henry V. This is the Kenneth Branagh version with Emma Thompson. I bought it because I'm working my way through Emma Thompson's filmography. Again, almost finished hers, which really upsets me. I I think I've read Henry V once, and that's it. So, yeah, th this, this could be fun. I do like Kenneth Branagh, so that's always a good thing. Next up, we have A Taste for Killing. Why did I buy this one? I can't remember. There will be, in each film, there is somebody that I like, because um, I was working through all the different filmographies, and... Jason Bateman's in this, but that's definitely not the reason that I bought this. So, if you know why I bought this, and if you know who's in it, I think it's Sandra Bullock. I kind of feel like it might actually have been Christina Ricci. I'm not sure, but it'll probably be obvious once I see it. So, we'll see. Then we have The Net, which is, again, one of the last Sandra Bullocks that I have to watch. I'm trying to kind of ration these and make them last a bit longer. She's been credited as Sandra Bullock from Two Weeks Notice. Yeah, I don't know anything about this one, but it looks pretty intense, and I always love Sandra Bullock in kind of dark thrillers, so fingers crossed I like it. There are several in this one. First one in this pouch is The Lost Souls, Winona Ryder. Uh, it looks like a kind of spiritual possession film, which as a rule I don't really like because I find them very cliche and never very scary. But it's been on a rider, so I am going to like that element of it. Whether or not the actual story is any good, we'll have to wait and see. Then we have Johnny Depp in The Astronaut's Wife. Uh, I don't know why I hadn't seen this yet, because it was really cheap. It was either like 50 pence for a pound, probably would have bought it ages ago. I don't actually know what it's about, but I love Johnny Depp. And the last one in this envelope. A Merry Christmas Miracle. Uh, also known as, I think, A Merry Friggin' Christmas. This, this I think, was Robin Williams' last film to be released in the US. It's credited at the top of his IMDb page, but Boulevard was the last one to be released in the UK. So it's potentially RW's last film, but so is Boulevard. And, I, and again, I don't know why I hadn't seen this. This was like £2.53, which I think is a bit insulting, because Robin Williams' film should be... A lot more than that. <laughs> Whether or not it's good, I don't know. I don't care. It's Robin Williams, but I will let you know. Also, Joel McHale. I like Joel McHale. Second last, we have The Preppy Murder. And why did I get this one? I cannot remember. Could be Winona Ryder, could be Sandra Bullock, could be completely somebody else. I can't remember. There's no kind of key name on the back that jumps out at me. Don't know what it's about, but we'll find out eventually. See, I should really know what this is if I remembered what I bought, but I can't remember. Ah, yes, this is one of the um, the last Emma Thompsons again. This is a legend of Barney Thompson, Thompson without a P. Apparently this is very funny and Robert Carlyle's in it, who's great. Um, I'm not sure what the reviews are like for this. Um, but I think this is definitely the last Emma Thompson comedy I have to watch. I should probably check that they're all there. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I think the ten films, or ten DVDs at least, came to around about £8 or something with postage. That wasn't bad at all. Really looking forward to watching these. Like I said, these all feature an actor whose work I'm currently working my way through, hence the reason that I bought them. 
but if there are films that you think I should check out, regardless of who's in them, do let me know as I'm always open to suggestions and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.